Julie. Julie, I'm home. Sherry for the mice. You'll be so proud. Of what? I found the most wonderful bargain at the grocery store. Julie, she bought mice. I know she did. A whole sack full. Throw them out the window. Don't be silly. Just edgy.
good girl. And 20 pounds of sunflower seeds? 20 pounds of... I'll kill her! No, can't even say that. 20 pounds of sunflower seeds. Even Luther Burbank himself never saw 20 pounds of sunflower seeds. What are we going to do with 20 pounds of sunflower seeds? We can start a window box. 20 pounds of sunflower seeds! And she can buy a parrot. She couldn't have bought 20 pounds of Cracker Jack. She couldn't have done that because I like Cracker Jack. I even like to open the prizes. We'll take it back in the morning. It was a special. You can't take it back in the morning. I'll take it back tonight.
computer pal. When I lie to you about a computer, Albert, call him and have him here. Mr. Ask for Roxanne Conk. C O N C H. Conk like the show. You need to take her out. I don't care where, just out. For the evening, for the whole night, if possible. Thanks, Albert. Julie! I also do the marine tip and a snappy arrangement of big keys complete with food handling. Julie, come here. Roxanne, keep oiling the sunflower seed. Don't oil sunflower seeds. Then you just keep doing whatever you can to them. Did you tell her about the computer pal? I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago. She didn't seem too interested. She just left it laying around. Then I chose it out and sent it in. Then you better get interested. Fast. Our little date mate will be here tonight. When? The sooner the better. How do you know so much about computer pals? I called up Albert. Not Albert. Albert. Casting Albert. Albert casting. Casting Albert. Albert couldn't even cast a shadow and get it right. It's all set. He's got a guru tape on his on his list that lives two two streets over. Remember when Albert thought that Francis Scott Key was a woman and tried to get Raquel Welch for the part? Albert's not perfect. Neither is Roxanne. Maybe they should get together. This is only for tonight, and it's a perfectly innocent. Harmless, low, dirty trick to get Roxanne out of the house for the evening. Oh. Roxanne, stop blowing the sunflower seeds and come here, can you? Roxanne, could you come here for a minute? I have a surprise for you. I'm not going out tonight. I thought you didn't like little women. Some of them I'm going to dislike intensely. Jerry, wait. And try not to move your lips, darling. Roxanne, do you remember the questionnaire from Computer Call you got a while back? I lost it. No, you didn't. I didn't? I found it. Anybody safe? All the same. Tell you what. We'll go across the street, top of Leo, table by the window, bottle of Chianti, and an enormous pepperoni and mushroom pizza. Or, if Mama Leo's cooking tonight, spaghetti with that unbelievable sauce. Then what? We feed our faces and we spy. Spy. We lurk. We spy. From Papa Leo's, we can see everybody that comes to the house. And pal takes Roxanne out for the evening. If he looks like a sex maniac or an axe murderer, then we put Roxanne back in the closet and spend the rest of the evening with Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. How can we tell if he's a sex maniac? They all wear special sweatshirts with dirty words on the back. How should I know? <coughs> Just get a new full of top of the Chianti and use our best judgment. If we hear Roxanne screaming, then we'll definitely do something. Will there be any risk? Albert and Francis Scott Key, you know. His name was Francis. He had long hair, and he wrote music. A perfectly natural mistake. 
Burrell. Ah, here's Creeping Beauty now. I look like a weirdo. You look just fine, honey. Sit up. You look fine, honey, tonight, Roxanne. I envy you. You want to stay here and I'll go out to dinner with Yuli? No. Well, we'll go out and... No, honey. You just relax in your own time, simple, sympathetic, beautiful self. Leave the closet door open. I may want to meditate suddenly. Is there any wine left in the kitchen? You don't drink. For the night. They're sobering up by now. They're not sobering up. They're sleeping it off. Leave them alone. If he has friends, just give him a karate chop. What if you won't go out of board? Albert, uh, that is, Computer Pal is a perfectly reputable organization. You'll have a fine time tonight, Roxanne. And if you want to stay out late, just come and knock on the door. And we'll let you in. Eventually. Really, Roxanne, everything will be just fine. Come on, Julie. Good night, Roxanne.
Sergeant Albert strikes again. Ha <laughs> 